consider one example on superposition theorem. Find Ix using superposition theorem. This is the given circuit and Ix is the current which flows through 3 ohm resistor. We are supposed to find Ix using superposition theorem. Here we have two independent sources. One is independent voltage source of 5 volt and independent current source of 1 amp. As we know in superposition theorem, we are supposed to consider one source at a time. Let us consider 5 volt source alone. In that case, we are supposed to open this 1 amp source. That is consider Five volt source alone. Therefore, open circuit one amp source. The equivalent circuit is shown below. So here I have open circuited 1 amp source. Now assume that current through 3 ohm register is I1. Now we will find I1 using loop analysis. Assume that current through this loop is X and this loop is Y. Now apply KVL to loop X. Apply KVL to loop X. We can write phi u is equal to voltage across 2 ohm register is 2x plus voltage across 3 ohm register is 3 in bracket x plus y as in 3 ohm register both x and y currents are flowing. Phi u is equal to 2x plus 3x plus 3y simplifying this phi u is equal to phi u x plus 3y call it as equation number 1. Now let us apply KVL to loop Y. Apply KVL to loop Y. As we know here there is no any voltage sources. So it is 0 is equal to voltage across 3 ohm register is 3 in bracket X plus Y plus voltage across 4 ohm register is 4Y simplifying this we will get 3x plus 3y plus 4y therefore 0 is equal to 3x plus 7y we will call it as equation 2. Now by simplifying 1 and 2 solving equation 1 and 2 we get x is equal to 1.346 amps and y is equal to minus 0 0.576 amps. So therefore I can say I1 is equal to x plus y which is equal to 1.346 minus 0 0.576 therefore I1 is equal to 0 0.77 amps. So this is the current which flows through 3 ohm register when we consider 5 volt source alone. Now let us find again the current through 3 ohm register considering 1 amp source alone shorting 5 volt source. The equivalent circuit shown below. This is the equivalent circuit when we consider 1 amp source alone. We will assume that current through 3 ohm register is I2. Here we can observe that 2 ohm, 3 ohm and 4 ohm registers are in parallel. As we are calculating current through 3 ohm register, let us keep 3 ohm register as it is. In that case, 2 ohm and 4 ohm are in 
parallel. We'll try to replace these two register by single register by taking equivalent value. That is this is one amp. The value of this is three ohm. Now the value of this is <coughs> two ohm and four ohm are in parallel. That is therefore R equivalent is equal to 2 is parallel with 4 that is 2 into 4 divided by 2 plus 4 that is 8 by 6 that is nothing but 4 by 3. So value of this register is 4 by 3. The current through this register is I2. So therefore I2 is equal to by applying current division rule that is total current 1 into opposite transistor that is 4 by 3 divided by sum of these two registers that is 3 plus 4 by 3 simplifying this 0 0.308 so therefore total current flows through 3 ohm is Ix, therefore Ix is equal to I1 plus I2 which is equal to 0 0.77 plus 0 0.308 that is Ix is equal to 1.078 amps. Thank you for watching.